see all of you out here. Isn't this a beautiful country that we can be here all getting together, sharing this amazing movement? It really is a revolution, and you are the ones who are leading it. So I'm here to talk to you today about LED grow lights, probably one of the most revolutionary aspects of the medical cannabis industry. So uh, before I get into all the high-tech stuff, I um, just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been working for Sunshine Systems for about a year. I've been in the lighting industry for about three, and I can honestly say it's, it's the best job I could ever ask for, to be able to share this technology, to help people do what they're already doing, but do it better, more efficiently, in a way that saves them a lot of money, not to mention cutting back on a great deal of pollution and, and cost to our environment. So um, I just want to say thank you guys for being open. Uh, I'd like to just kind of start this off a little bit to find out, you know, what people out there uh, are experiencing. So, uh, everybody please raise their hands if they've talked to somebody about LED grow lights in the past week. Great. And please raise your hand if, if whoever you were talking to was saying good things about LED grow lights. Great. That's really good to hear. And how many people were uh, talking to people who uh, maybe didn't have so many good things to say about LED grow lights? Okay, good. It's just nice to know who I'm talking to. So I am here today to basically open your eyes, help you to see the light. Um, I've got one right here. I'll be holding it up, explaining a little bit more about it. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm from uh, nor oh, well, Northern California. I live in Marin, just north of uh, San Francisco. It's my first time down to LA. I. Um, I, I kind of, you know, didn't know if I was going to get lost or whatever, you know, I didn't know if I'd get caught in traffic, uh, but I got pulled over and uh, I got a speeding ticket. So I thought I could have talked myself, uh, talked my way out of it, but after the cop looked in my back seat and saw my dog, uh, couldn't, couldn't do that one. So anyway, on a lighter note, um, basically what I'm here to talk to you about is medical cannabis grown with LED grow lights. And I'm not going to say specifically that Sunshine Systems uh, LED grow lights work better, but in my experience, those are the ones that I have used, so that's the ones that I can talk about because they're the ones that I use personally. Um, the biggest question people ask me when I talk to them about LEDs is, do they work? You know, a lot of people have things to say like, oh, well, my buddy tried them two years ago and they didn't get any flowers, so I'm not going to use them. And I'm like, well, have you tried anything lately? It's been produced in the last year or so. What I can tell you is the technology started out kind of slow, and the point it's at now, there's absolutely no reason you wouldn't want to use LED grow lights. Anybody who's growing indoors can benefit from LEDs. Uh, it's the kind of thing that is... So, has so many advantages over traditional grow lights that for the life of me, I can't understand why anyone wouldn't be using them at this point. Uh, the main benefits to you, the grower, anyone who's growing indoors is one, you can use them almost anywhere. They use one-third to one-fifth the electricity of your conventional grow light. So that means a lot of money is being saved that you actually get to keep in your pocket rather than paying out every month to the utility companies. A third benefit is that they produce almost no heat. So that means you don't have to come home after a long weekend, find out that your grow room caught fire and your house burned down. This is one of our Sunshine Systems grow UFOs. It's a saucer shape. You can see why we called it the UFO, because it looks just like a UFO. Uh, it uses 90 watts of power and puts out the equivalent of a 400 watt HPS. Now how is that possible, you wonder? Here's the other thing. I can put my hand right next to this light, no risk of burning. You wouldn't be able to do that with your average HPS. Also, you can see I'm holding this right up next to my arm and, and really no heat is coming out of it. Um, you can see there's, there's three cooling fans in the back. The LEDs don't get hot themselves, but what you do have to keep cool is the junctions where the LEDs connect to the circuit boards because those soldered joints can over time get brittle and then crack. So we do our best to keep the, the grow light cool so it will last as long as possible. Another big benefit to you wondering why should I use LEDs? Well here's the other thing is you're never going to have to buy a replacement bulb. You can basically buy this, hang it up, 
plug it in, and it should work reliably for the next seven to ten years. That means every year when your bulbs are burnt out and you need to go to the hydro store to replace them, you don't have to do that anymore. And because it doesn't produce hardly any heat, you don't have to run giant air conditioners. So anybody who's currently growing indoors can benefit from using LEDs. You don't have to switch all at once. My recommendation is that keep what you're doing now if you're getting good results. Gradually phase LEDs into your current environment because here's, here's the deal, folks. Change is stressful. If I say to you, you've got a security blanket, and I say, give me your security blanket. I'm going to give you something else that you have no idea about how it works or what it does. You're not going to be very comfortable. Let's face it. You know, this is a revolution. Change is happening. The people who are doing and using LED grow lights right now are getting great results, at least the ones that we make. I'll show you some pictures in just a moment of what people have produced. Um, but I encourage everybody to give the LEDs a try. You know, try them for yourself. Get one of these. This costs about $380. Uh, if you're a, a conference attendee, you get 10% off. So it's about $340. But what it's going to save you is basically that same amount of money in one year. So after a year of owning this, it will have paid for itself. Every month thereafter, the amount of money you used to be spending on your HID grow lights, your HPS or metal halides, or your T5s, stays in your pocket. Okay? I don't think people quite understand. Let me say this again. No heat. One third the cost of electricity. No air conditioners to run. No bulbs to replace. No risk of fire. And you get the same results. Okay? This is a current uh, technology. It has uh, about four bands of blue and red. You can see, I'm going to try not to blind everyone, but you can see the light coming out of it is red and blue. Why is it red and blue? It makes this funny magenta color. Here's the reason. Plants are green because they reflect green light. Plants don't need green light. HPS and metal halide, they're used to light gymnasiums. They're not used to grow plants. This is made specifically to produce the wavelengths of light that plants need to grow. Exactly the ones that we know, because we've been testing and working with plants for a long time. Scientists who are very smart helped us to develop this. So basically what we're doing is we're giving plants just the wavelengths of light that they need to photosynthesize. There's, you know, several different products, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenoids, several other things. But by tailoring the spectrum of light that we're giving the plant, and by producing it extremely efficiently with an LED, we can make a grow light that's not only a lot safer, but is a lot more efficient and lasts a lot longer. LEDs are the future. In two years, no one will be growing with HPS. It will all be LED. So what I say to you today is, don't wait until all your friends are doing it. Lead this revolution. Get some LEDs, try them out for yourself. And here's the other thing, folks. We were the first ones to introduce the UFO. This is the Grow UFO. You see the LED UFO out there. You'll see, LED, you'll see UFO lookalikes on eBay for about 180 bucks. It's not the same stuff, okay? We're using high quality, American made LEDs and electronics. That's what the difference is. You can. You know, you buy the original or you can buy a cheap knockoff. It may cost half as much, but it's also going to work half as well. So save yourself the time. Just get the good stuff. I'm not saying Sunshine Systems is the only company out there making a good quality product. There are several others. There are actually other people exhibiting here. At this point, the grow light market is so big that we can't afford not to all work together. I consider other people who make LED grow lights colleagues, not competitors. So just so you know, this is a movement we're all working in together. Now you're probably wondering, what are some of the products that people have grown with LEDs? We've, uh, we've got these photos from several of our clients, and I'll show you very clearly what people are doing, what kind of results they're producing. This is a first-time grower. His name is Harlan. He lives up in Willits, California. He's a medical cannabis user. He's using our Grow UFO and something called the Blue Booster Grow Spot. What's the Blue Booster Grow Spot, you ask? It has just the red and orange wavelengths that the plants need during flowering. The reason a lot of those knockoff UFOs don't work is they don't have the right ranges of red. In the flowering stages, the plants need a lot of red light because it duplicates that late summer sun that uh, is inducing them to go into flowering. So you have to have the far red, not just the 630 nanometer, you also need 660 nanometer, which this has and all of our products have. So the Blue Booster gives the plants more of the red light. Here 